welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe, notification bell, share, like, tell a friend. Wagwan people, welcome back to the channel. We're here doing it again. You know what I'm saying? Today, we're going to cook um, Jamaican pastime in a VIP style. You know what I mean? Make it happen. Mackerel and rice, everything together. Check the ingredients out. So, this is going to be like a one pot style. You know what I'm saying? Everything going to be in one. It's kind of like a seasoned rice, but it's not really a seasoned rice because it got mackerel in there. You know what I'm saying? So, call it mackerel rice. So, you know when I'm cooking, I like to have some okra in mine as well. I have some okra cut up as well. I got pepper right here. Habanara scotch bonnet. I got a piece of butter. You know, you can't cook tin mackerel with the rice without butter. So that's got to be in there. Okay, so I got onion, peppers. I got a little bit of carrots. You know, messy. I got some thyme over here. And I got some corn as well. All right. In my pot right here, magic seasoning as usual or magic marinade, whatever you guys call it. I put a video out so you guys can check it out. Okay, I'm cooking a quarter rice already washed already. All right, so we're gonna get started. I dump everything in here. You know we never go without the pepper flakes. Take a bit of pepper flakes, cause I like the flavor of that. You know, and we have the mackerel right here. We want to show you. We want to do it step by step. All right, so you guys know what's going on. Little bit of salt as well. So you know you can't go without salt. All right, so we gonna dump the vegetable lemon here. Let's put the vegetable in pepper in because we're going to eat that hole in there because it's mackerel and it's kind of like fishy so you want to make sure you got you know bay leaf as well in there you know for the flavor wise piece of butter because you know the butter going to bring out that creaminess into it all right and if you want to add some coconut milk in yours feel free to do that you know but i cook with coconut milk so much that i decided you know what let's do this one with coconut milk so that's what we're about right now all right time in here put all the vegetables in you don't need to be shy to put them in because we're going to sweat them off a little bit maybe like 50 percent then we're going to add the water or right, you can add the rice to get the rice going a little bit and then you know you add the water so right, when we come back we're going to show you where we're on the stove and show you what you know what it works so all right as i promised we're going to show you how we get into it okay so right now we're sweating off the vegetables I told you before, you can put everything together in this, okay? You don't need to be like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should put the onion first or the carrot first. You got everything going to boil down into the rice and cook the way you want it to be cooked. All right, and don't forget, 50%, okay? Do not cook it more than 50%. Yeah, because you don't want it to be all mushy. You still want to get a little bite of the vegetable and all that, all right? Yeah. And after you sweat off 40%, you're going to put the mackerel in here. And... So the mackerel go in there, we're going to let it cook for another 5 minutes or a minute and a half, 2 minutes, whichever you want to cook it for. Because the mackerel is already cooked already, you can even eat it raw if you want to. Some people I know eat it raw, I never really eat it raw, I always try to warm mine up and make sure it's hot. You know, when you work in the kitchen, you know you got to make sure the food warmed up the right way. The consumer, you know? Yeah. So after that, you should be here to smell this, it smells real good. Yeah, and guys, don't forget, you know what I'm saying. If you want me to make something for the channel, you know, put your request in. You know what I say? Make it happen. You know, I normally cook in, you know, what I think is right for the channel, but I know you guys, you know, out there, and you guys are watching the channel and all that. So, if you guys need me to cook something that you guys, you know, don't know it be done, or you guys want a different twist to it, you know what I'm saying? Shoot me a message. You know, leave me a comment. You know it works. And I'll make it happen. You know? That's what I do. So, vegetable looking good. Everything sweating off. That marinade in there. Ooh. Smell real good. Can't complain for this one. So, I'm going to open the mackerel. Put it in here. We're going to take it from there. Alright. Alright. So mackerel right here. Normally, you want to clean it in. I already washed it off already. You know what I'm saying? You can see it's a little bit still wet because you don't know where it's coming from. So you want to make sure you clean the top and so nothing don't go into it. Anything. It, you never know. Anything can go into your food. You don't want it into your food, alright? 
Yeah, when you open this, you want to be careful as well because this thing cut people and it's very sharp. All right? Yep. Mm hmm. That's what I'm talking about. If you want, you can get a little bit of water to rinse that out. For me, I don't need it. I think that's enough right here and here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of break this up a little bit. Well, so, it's kind of like more incorporate into the rice, and the more you get, one person get a big piece, you know what I'm saying? And the other person don't get any. So, I'm not trying to break it up completely, completely, but I'm trying to loosen it up a bit so everybody can get a piece, you know? Yep. And some people probably like, ah, that's not the way we do it, but everybody got a different way to do it. This is my way. You know? Yeah. I guarantee you if you try it my way, you're going to like it better than your way. Believe that. No joke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real. You guys know it works. All right, so we're gonna let that simmer down for a couple of minutes. When we come back, we're gonna put the rice and the water in there, and you know, taste it for salt. Add a little bit more oil in there, so you know, get it in the right way. All right. All right. As you guys can see, this is what we're looking for right now. See that? Perfect and nice. Look at the veg. Still green. Still look nice, yeah? Peppers, carrot and onion still stayed up. Corn still stayed up. You know, you don't want it to be too soft before you add the rice into it because the rice is going to be cooked for another 15 or 20 minutes. So I've washed the rice like three times already. A lot of people don't wash their rice, but you know, where we're from, we always wash the rice. Unless it's like a scented rice. And they still wash the scented rice back home as well, but... Since I've been here for a while, I grow accustomed not to wash the scented rice because it loses sense, which makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Well, if it don't make sense to you, then it's, uh, it's your call at the end of the day. You do what you gotta do, you know, whatever you feel like to make you happy at the end of the day. That's the most important part. So I'm just gonna flip this around, incorporate it in there. And this is three cups of rice right here, okay? Yeah, I didn't do a quart today. Uh, three quarters of a quart. Let's say that. Because like, we always work with a quart. So this is three quarters of a quart rice. Mm -hmm. See that? Look at that. Nice. And as I said, this is a one pot style. And I got a few more one pots coming up for you guys. You know, because one pot, I'm responsible for the one pots. You know? Yeah. If you guys notice on the channel, I gave you a one pot with a color loop, pumpkin, or a seasoned rice kind of style. Yeah, I got that down to the T. So now we're gonna add some water. So because I put three quarter cup quarter rice, I'm gonna put one quart water with a little top more to it, okay? That's how it works. And I'm not gonna put a little tot yet because we're gonna wait to see what happens. Because remember there's some water from the mackerel. You know what I'm saying? And some water that, you know, from the veggies as well. So you don't want to overdo it yet. You want to watch the rice a little bit. And if you need a little more water, you can add a little more before it's like fully cooked. And don't try to add too much water to it because it's going to get soggy, okay? You got to have the right time and the right moment. Well, you'll see it during, you know, the course of the time. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here because I like when my rice kind of season up and have flavor to it, you know? Yep. See that? Now we look like we're doing something, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A little bit of pepper flakes in there. And I got that piece of pepper right there. See that? Nice. It's going to cook into there. Anybody eat it, going to be in trouble. It's going to be hot, but it's okay. It's mackerel, so you're not going to die. All right. Just keep stirring up a little bit more, so everything, you know, over where it's supposed to go. And you taste it as well to see if I need a little bit more salt. All right? Always do that before it's like finished cooked down. Because after it's cooked down, you try to add salt to it. It's not going to be dissolved the right way. So you want to get salt in there when it's liquidy. All right? Don't forget that part of it. That's very important. If you're going to be eating salt grain in one section, it's salt in the other section taste. Like there's no salt in it. All right? When we come back, 
we're gonna give you like you know in between to let you see what it looked like maybe in five ten minutes when we come back what we're gonna show you okay all right so all right this was what we're talking about that we're gonna show you what it looked like before we put a cover on it and cover it down you know what i'm saying and i just had a little bit more salt in there because i taste it and it tastes like it could take a little bit more salt so i say you know what let's put a little bit more salt in there but if you can eat it with just a little bit of salt it's better for you but my whole soul they like salt so i try to cook with salt you know and from my looked at it right now it looked like it could take that little bit of the water we we're talking about earlier so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put that little bit of water in there to make sure the rice is not hard okay yep and I try to put warm water in there. I don't try to put cold water in there, okay? It's just chemistry, you know? So it doesn't like kind of chill like it. You know, it still keep moving because it's hot water. All right, so yeah, that's that. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna cover him down, let him steam and almost low right here. And that's it for another 10 minutes. And then one pot, mackerel and rice ready to go. And you know, we put some okra in there. Normally, people don't really put okra in there, but that's kind of my twist to it as well. I drop a little bit of okra in there, you know what I'm saying? And a little bit of extra oil for flavor because you know, we need that flavor, you can't go wrong without the flavor. All right, so when we come back, we're going to show you the finishing touch on it. We're going to make a plate, show you, you know, in between what you see or look. All right, definitely, no doubt. All right, thank you guys for staying with us until the end. Um, rice is ready. Here we go, take a look at it. So you see, chilly and nice. No rush, you know what I'm saying? Slowly and nice. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Hmm? You guys can trust me now. Real talk. See? Look at that. Nice, huh? Eh? Ah, oh, nice. Smell real good too. A little bit spicy in here, so I'm gonna make a plate right now for you guys. You know, see what it looked like. This is one of my favorite dish in Jamaica. Real quick when I'm hungry, you know. But this one take a little longer than normal because I put a lot of vegetable and a lot of love into it. So normally in Jamaica, it's just quick little bit of peppers and onions, and you know that's it. Maybe some okra from, you know, my three in the back, but that's about it. Let's put a little bit more in. And if you guys can notice, every time I go inside of it, you can see mackerel, piece of mackerel, because I kind of break it up so it doesn't stay big, you know? That's what I'm talking about. Can't ask for more. So, you know, it's, it's a season right now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to garnish with a piece of sage, because it's that kind of season, you know, so... Yep, garnish with a piece of sage. Put another piece in there. Piece of sage right here too. Yeah, let's garnish with a piece of sage. And you know, that's what it looked like. Um, thank you guys for staying with us to the end. We appreciate you. Take a close up on that for the guys, you know. You know we do. Simple, easy, quick, you know. But yeah, still tastes excellent. That's what we do. Hi, thanks for watching the video. We appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, tell a friend, subscribe, like, comment, share, all the above.